if you want to keep that as your good conscience. <laughs> I do want to keep it, but not for those purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful day. Ha. Using this camera... Take a picture of an inanimate object that looks like you. <laughs> Easy, I look like everything. Closest <laughs> resemblance wins. OK. Time starts now. All right. I take a picture of an object that looks like me, but not an animate object. An inanimate, an inanimate object. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Well, I've got a free camera. I'm really happy about it. An inanimate object that looks like them. Let's mm -hmm. have a look. OK, we've got all five up here, so see what you think of these. Mm. I don't know if you can work out who's who. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? If you'd just shown me the toaster, I still would have guessed Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to guess who I think? Yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, it's a process of elimination, I suppose. Okay, well, I think it's unlikely that anyone else thinks that they look like the guy from JLS. <laughs> <laughs> would have, would have been mean... a very ballsy call if I said that. <laughs> <laughs> the more worrying question is how I know that's the guy from JLS. <laughs> it's Marvin Hume, isn't it? Do you, do you want to see him next to Doc? It's a pretty close resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> it's a desperate call, really. I saw that doll and I thought, boom. I don't think you look like Marvin from JLS, and Neither I think you I. should I be desperate. disqualified for racism. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you on think what Doc grounds? should be? On what yeah. grounds? Oh, I'm going to enjoy <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> you think Doc should be disqualified for racism? Yeah, he thinks that two black men look alike. That's racist. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Do you want to move on to the toaster? Yes. You've deduced it's Joe. And, I have, uh, yeah. <laughs> we do have a second picture of Joe where he looks... Well, there's more of a similarity. Ah. <laughs> Romping into the lead. <laughs> 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 Did you already have the toaster picture? That is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your toaster with a punch in it? Yeah, it's just a, it's a de-stressor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to let it go. Why has your toaster got a big punch hole in it? <laughs> because sometimes it only browns it on one side. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at John's. OK, this is John's. Do you want to explain what it is, John? <clears throat> yes, it's a 3D printout of me. Whoa! <laughs> we do have it here. Cool! Oh! oh man. Yeah, the actual thing's incredible. Mm, actual yeah. size. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what it looks like if John's standing next to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why'd you keep mocking me down? <laughs> yeah. If you want to keep that as your good conscience. <laughs> I do want to keep it. But not for those purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think it's great. If, if I'd have just seen the picture, I'd have said it was shit, but up close, it's incredible. Where'd you get that printed off? 3D printers. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've got one, uh, Catherine Ryan here on the right. Yes. And Catherine Ryan on the left. Wow. Whoever the lady on the left is, she appears to have incredibly wide, <laughs> low-slung breasts. <laughs> It's from a box of the shapewear known as Spanx. Yep, you know about Spanx? I've seen them. Yeah. And honestly, I found them really upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> they are very upsetting. The last one? You want to see the last one? Yeah. Osman. Oh! <laughs> I mean, that is I mean, incredible. <laughs> Even I double take when I walk by. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel safe when I'm around you as well. <laughs> there you go. That's really brilliant. The scores are as follows. In okay. first place, it's Richard Osman. Second place, it's John Richardson, and he doesn't deserve it. Third place, <laughs> Catherine. Fourth place, Toaster Face. Fifth place, Doc. Done. <laughs> OK. Well done. Well done, you. Well done, you. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.